This is the CBS Evening News with Katie Couric. The casualty count from the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan continues to climb. By the most recent estimate, more than 30,000 American servicemen and women have been wounded. But now, an amazing development could change how doctors treat even the most serious wounds. As Wyatt Andrews reports in the second part of our series, Growing Miracles. Good afternoon, Harvey Town, USA, at least speaking. You might become a believer in the power of magic dust. And I powdered it on until it was covered. When you see how a special powder regrew the tip of Lee Spivak's finger. I put it through the back of the airplane. The half inch he sliced off in the propeller of a hobby shop airplane. Your finger grew back flesh, vessels, and nail. Four weeks. In four weeks. All right. Is this essentially what regrew Mr. Spivak's finger? Yes, it is. We took this, turned it into a powdered form. This powder is a medical product called extracellular matrix. Made from pig bladders, it's a mix of protein and connective tissue surgeons often use to repair tendons. But it's the matrix's unusual power to regenerate tissue that's helped launch a new field called regenerative medicine. It tells the body, start that process of tissue regrowth. At the University of Pittsburgh Center for Regenerative Medicine, Dr. Stephen Badalik believes the matrix somehow mobilizes cells, some of them adult stem cells, whose job it is to maintain and repair injured tissue. It will change the, the body from thinking that it's responding to inflammation and injury to thinking that it needs to regrow normal tissue. If this helps Mr. Spivak's finger regrow, could you grow a whole limb? In theory. That theory that it might be possible to grow an entire limb is about to be tested by the United States military. The Army, working in conjunction with the University of Pittsburgh, is about to use that matrix on the amputated fingers of soldiers home from the war. Can we make skin? Can we make bone? Can we Dr. Make, Stephen uh, Wolf at the Army Institute of Surgical Research says the military has invested millions of dollars in regeneration, hoping to regrow limbs, lost muscle, even burned skin. It's hard to ignore that this guy is missing half his skin. This guy is missing his leg. Is there any way we can make that go back? Some of that technology exists. Several different technologies for harnessing regeneration are now in clinical trials around the world. This machine being tested in Germany sprays a burn patient's own cells onto a burn, signaling the skin to regrow. You could fashion this into a, a tube like this. Dr. Badalik uh, is about to implant for, matrix um, material well, shaped like an esophagus into patients with throat cancer. And so we fully expect that this material will cause the body to reform normal esophageal tissue. Some of the most advanced tests involve the heart. This patch of material is being put on like a band-aid to regenerate tissue damaged by a heart attack. Injecting one. And here, patient Mary Beth Babo is getting her own adult stem cells injected okay. into her heart in hopes of growing new arteries. Her surgeon is Dr. Jun Li. It's actually, the, if you will, what we would consider the holy grail of our field for coronary artery disease. The holy grail, because if stem cells can regrow arteries, there's less need for surgery. If people don't have to go through that, um, this would be the way to go if it works. This is only two and a half years old. Lee Spivak jokes he's got a 69-year-old body and a two-year-old fingertip. But his fingertip has researchers imagining a time when regrown limbs replace prosthetics, when regrown tissues replace surgery, when the body does its healing with cells from within. Wyatt Andrews, CBS News, Pittsburgh.